organized labor cited the Bediaku Presidential Commission report of 2006. In that report, it proposed the setting up of a three-tier pension system. It also suggested setting up the National Pensions Regulatory Authority, NPRA. But the regulator has been too laid back due to the ongoing happening in Sassanate. In 2006, the government wants people on the presidential commission also cited Senate for inefficiency and administrative cost. Due to that, Labour is of the view that workers should take hold and manage pension funds. The chairman of the forum, Isaac Bampo Ado, has proposed an immediate review of the Pension Act. He said the review should include a restructuring of Senate. The law must be changed immediately and that's what we should fight for. All this noise that is going around, if the law does not change, then we should forget. The law must be changed for workers to be in charge of state. A member of the forum, who is also the General Secretary of NAT, Thomas Musatanko, was saddened by the government's indebtedness to Senate. He said that as of December 2023, the government owed over 2 billion cities. Controller and Accountant General's Department is owing Senate. 2.5 billion as of December 31st, 2023. That is the principle. If you slap that 3% or whatever it takes on it, the figure will be heading towards 9 to 10 billion. Recently, the ILO published their report telling us that the indebtedness to Senate was around 9.6 billion. And government alone was owing around 6.3 billion. The General Secretary of the General Agricultural Workers Union, GAO, Edward Karawe, expressed concern that workers' contributions could be affected due to the happenings at Senate. The state has a responsibility to take care of them. How much more about those who have contributed in their lifetime to be able to get pensions? The state must be able to also support them. But unfortunately, it seems the Senate uh, is unable to play that role the way we expect them to do. The pension scheme, as administered by Senate, has an active membership of over 1.8 million as of April 2023, with over 235,617 pensioners who regularly receive their monthly pensions from Senate.